Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to review the DeWalt USB charging adapter. This kind of thing should be in everyone's kit. Think out and about and you really need to charge your phone or if there's a power outage or some kind of emergency situation. If you're a bit handy, chances are you might already have battery operated power tools. This isn't just limited to DeWalt, other brands have these too. Another advantage is third party batteries are extremely cheap. Let's have a look at the device in action. It's got a level meter on the top, and two USB ports. I assume it's two amp max, not two amps each. Very good device on its own, but I'm going to show you why you might want to buy two of these. For a little more you can buy a battery socket on its own. Like this advantage is there is only two pins so you'll only get maximum voltage. One disadvantage with both of these sockets is they don't fit very tight. If you want to use this to convert old power tools to lithium ion you'll have to keep this in mind. Let's compare the socket with the one on a DeWalt drill. The DeWalt clips on in multiple places. It won't come off unless you take it off. Now let's open it up and have a look. got three wires, they're labelled B+, B- and ID. Now we'll plug it into a battery and put the multimeter onto it. I believe the ID is just an 8 volt line from the battery pack. Their outer frame is our 20 volt. Here's the device in action, plugged into my Lita Kala battery charger. I'll review it later. I actually desoldered the ID wire and it still works. Okay, let's move on to converting this to a battery socket. If you want a simple socket, it'll work just like this. The outer pins with the blue and red wires are our 18 or 20 volts. I'll just go through the other pins and we'll see what voltages are there. We have 4, 8, 12, 16 and 20 volts. Now I'm going to assemble it in the original case. Removing that black wire. connect the wires directly to your device but today I'm going to use an XT60 socket. 
forgot to press record, but I've soldered it on. Now I'll abuse my soldering iron tip and make the hole a bit bigger. Next we'll super glue it in place. Probably should have screwed it together first. Here it is working. It's your path to cheap 20 volt battery packs. Tell me in the comments what you would use this for. Now you can get a panel mount plug. I was unable to find a panel mount socket. Socket being the female connector. The reason you would use a female connector on a battery is stray wires. See here, you're unable to short them. On a male, you would have a spark or a meltdown and a fire. We still have the USB charging board. If you wanted, you could put an XT60 cable, shrink wrap it, and use it for its original purpose. I'm just doing a quick test to see what voltage the USB board will run off. I'm using the DPS 3005 power supply I reviewed earlier. Fifteen volts looks like the limit. I'll try fourteen, now it's off. Here's a close up of that board. It may be possible to change some components or add a regulator to use it on other voltages. Anyway, we'll leave it there for now. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.